वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस मेड क्लासिक वीडियो सीरीज प्रिपेयर्ड बाय एम श्रीनिवासन ट्रेनिंग एसोसिएट मैथमेटिक्स केंद्र विद्यालय संगठन जोनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एजुकेशनल ट्रेनिंग मुंबई टिप्स टू मेक ऑनलाइन क्लासेस इफेक्टिव डिस्कस्ड एट दिस वीडियो सीरीज ऑप्शंस एट फ्रीली अवेलेबल मीडियम फॉर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस आर मेनली डिस्कस्ड The points discussed here are only suggestive. My dear learned colleagues, you can browse, you can explore the options to make the online classes effective. Live worksheets. In the earlier video, we have seen how to open the liveworksheets.com and register your name in that. In this video. you will learn how to create interactive multiple choice exercise at liveworksheet.com and how to share the interactive worksheets you have made with the students for that prepare worksheets with multiple choice questions giving enough gap between choices if there are four choices try to give enough gap between the choices save the worksheets with multiple choice questions which you have prepared as a pdf or jpg it is advisable directly the document also you can upload but if it is in pdf and jpg it is highly effective okay now let me uh, show you here i have uh, made one uh, in <coughs> worksheets with only three questions and uh, i have converted it into a pdf well let us start go to this lifeworksheets.com login If you want to know how to register and all, please see the previous video. The link is already given in the information box below this video. Go to this Make Interactive Worksheets. Get started. You click. It will ask you to choose your file. The formats are DOCX, PDF, JPG, or PNG, and the size limit is 5 MB. If your document design changes after uploading, please uh, embed your fonts, or if it is not enough, convert it to PDF before uploading. That's why I already told you that converting it into a PDF is always advisable. But it is highly useful for teachers of mathematics because they are trying it uh, their level best to do it in Google form where you have to type it once again. You cannot paste it directly. You have to type it once again. But you, typing it with uh, using your uh, equation editor in MS Word is very simple. Uh, type it, convert it into PDF, and come to this lifeworksheet.com. Okay, I am uh, choosing the file. I have put it in my desktop. Inverse trigonometric function. I am opening it, and I am uploading it. It has got uploaded now. Okay, now you see now here what I am going to do is that is the next step. Out of these four, I know which is the correct answer, which is the wrong answer. This is the way you have to do. Please note down. To make the interactive multiple choice question, make box around the right choice and type select yes. And make box around the wrong choices and type select no. Very simple. Make box around the right choice and type select yes. And make box around the wrong choices and select no. For example, in one question you have to type one select yes and three select no most probably. but it may take some time for you therefore what you can do is you can type that select full colon yes select full colon no in your word document and you can copy it and then paste it wherever you want to do for example i have typed here select yes i'm copying it i'm coming back to this uh, worksheet now for the first question minus 5 by 3 is the correct answer i am making a box around it i am making a box around it and then i am type pasting it as select yes okay uh, if you want okay it has come now for the second question uh, root 3 by 2 is the correct answer for i am making a box and then put the cursor here and then control v for select yes i am coming out of it okay well uh, the third one the answer is 2 pi by 5 Before I am making a box over it, and then come back, and then control. Okay. Uh, now I think the select is uh, this also had become select is. 
for the remaining what you have to do i have to type select no therefore i am selecting this select no i am coming back okay now you know that you have to do it with some patience uh, this is select no and i think this is also select no and this one is also select no and uh, you should have some patience and know their way out select no but if you do this uh, uh, control v it is very simple for you to do it because once you are going to do that uh, only one answer will be yes uh, the remaining answers will be no you have to do it and uh, you should have some patience and this one i am doing no okay now i will uh, save it this is actually save and this one is uh, discard and this is to you can uh, update background document now i am saving it it may take some time now it will ask you i want to share my worksheet with other teachers or i want to keep it private the private means you can keep up to 1000 private worksheets as per my uh, account which i have selected but if you want to share with the teachers sharing worksheets which are not your own creation is a violation of term of use you must save them as private otherwise your account could be cancelled and all your work and your students work would be lost therefore you should be very careful sharing worksheet which are not your own creation is a violation so this is my own creation therefore i want to share the worksheets with my uh, teachers i am just clicking it you can click that uh, that uh, private one also there is no uh, problem in that and uh, remember that you have to be very careful uh, if you want to just make it as private that is maybe that uh, be an advisable one okay well now you uh, you can uh, see your uh, worksheets over here okay now it is asked the title uh, i'm giving the title of it as uh, inverse uh, trigonometric function it will ask the language uh, the language is english uh, the subject is uh, max you can have max or mathematics i think this is for class 11 uh, 12th standard and the main content is inverse trigonometric uh, functions okay uh, i'm just typing it uh, the other content is uh, i think you can type a principal values uh, you know the age of the uh, student those who are doing in uh, class 12 they will be from uh, 16 maybe up to 18 these are the things which you can fill it you can give a description also do you want to share the document as pdf too you can type yes or embedding after the website also you can type yes then you can save it uh, i think uh, description it needs actually okay uh, now mcq on uh, inverse trigonometric functions okay uh, i am saving it okay now it has been saved uh, i will uh, show you that it will be in my worksheets okay now it has been saved over here you can open it let us see how it looks like this is the way uh, it looks like now now the child will uh, select the correct answer for example this is the correct answer for this uh, the second one uh, this is the correct answer for the third one this is the correct answer the child will finish it and uh, you can see what is the score you can check it out whether your all the answers which you have corrected is totally uh, correct or not okay now how to uh, mean send it to the children there are two ways of doing it one way is you can share with through whatsapp another is simply copy this this is the work, live workshop.com db1178.5 you can copy it and you can send it to the children one way is you can share it through whatsapp another is you can send the link okay another uh, very interesting thing about this is suppose i am take copying it okay uh, let me come back to uh, some other browser okay before we go for that browser uh i will just tell you that there is one more option for uh, mean uh, sending your uh, uh, mean sending this worksheet through your google classroom also at your google classroom i think most of you are using uh, google classroom this can be given as one of the assignments in google classroom okay suppose i click this add to google classroom uh the google classroom is opening in my account i will uh, take this share to google classroom Uh, select the class uh, i think you may be having so many classes class 12 class 11 like that i am not having it therefore i will click this descending to e resources 
uh, choose the action you can create a assignment you can ask the question or make an announcement or create a material i think create a assignment i take then you have to click go now you see i think the way just you are giving the assignments to the children it is coming here inverse trigonometric function worksheets you can give the title you can give the instruction and you know that how to do for it due date you can have and you can uh, give it to all the students like that therefore it will go to the students and in their google classroom as a part of the one of the any of this uh, topic for example you already had uh, inverse trigonometric function as one of the topic you can keep this assignment as one of the assignment in that particular topic also okay well um, i think i will uh, come back to this uh, let me uh, paste this uh, live worksheets here okay it has opened now now you see this is the way uh, the worksheets will be uh, shown to the children suppose your child is answering now i want to just to show you that how a child will answer uh, suppose a child is answering this and uh, by mistake he is doing this as a mistake and the third one uh, he is taking this as okay now the child will finish it now for a child there are two ways of doing it one is check my answer remember that if you have given this assignment in the google classroom the child will do it automatically and in the uh, assignment session it will go and you know that the marks will come to you now the child can email to the teacher also you can instruct the child to email to you you can click it now you see he can i mean uh, write his name for example student 1 a uh, group or level you can uh, write uh, class uh, uh, 12 and uh, school and subject it is mathematics or you can do now there are two things a child can do he can enter your email or key code what do you mean by key code i will just show you over here okay now you are you are having your account go to this my account in that my account you are having your uh, all your information this is the key code for you the child can send it to your mail or he can send it through a key code i will just copy the key code over here uh, this can be shared with the children or you can uh, share your email id with the children and your child is sending it to you is it okay uh, now answer has been sent good luck okay and now i am just clicking it i will come back to uh, your account that is the teacher account over here uh, now let me uh, check out whether it has come it will take some time uh, for you to uh, come over here uh my students you can uh, just click over it and i think it is uh it has it to come over here okay uh, okay now it has come now you see notification it has come as a notification okay now you see one person has uh, done it you can click it the child has done it by student number 1 and you can see now he has done uh, one wrong the word out of 3 it is showing as uh, 6.7 uh it is giving 3.3 3.3 3.3 okay well now you see um, now here uh, my students you can uh, over here you can see you can add the students okay here uh, my mailbox if you just click over it you see one student name has come over here the student which has done just now and he has sent it to you now what you can do is you can edit it you can you can remove it and you can see it like that suppose if you have given this work to uh, 30 to 40 children all of them through the google classroom or directly if you if they are having the link from the whatsapp or from their uh, laptop they will do it and instruct them to send it to your mail id or your uh, code then immediately all the answers will come over here it is totally uh, highly interesting you can just see it and then you can tell them that what is the mistake they have done in that okay now this you can select and you can uh, remove it also uh, and it can be removed so that the number of worksheets uh, in your uh, account it will be minimized after every chapter is over you can give them the feedback and you can remove it also okay uh, now this is the way to convert a mcq which you already you have made in a word file convert it into pdf simply upload it and then convert it into an interactive worksheet but be careful while you are doing it the correct answer to be boxed and you have to type select yes and the other choices which are not correct to be boxed and you have to select select no and here so many options are there for you suppose if you are going for this uh, my worksheets the all the worksheets which you have done it will be there you can click that worksheet which you have done it you can add anything to it by just doing this edit you can add some questions or you can change the questions like that okay now you can add it to the google classroom also or you can copy it and then send them the link or you can share it through the whatsapp also okay
i think this is highly interesting for you thank you friends the next type of worksheets we will see in our next video bye